since I received also some cash as an apology. If you have the same problem, make sure you complain. In this video, I will share with you my next five smart moves for my business to make sure that this quarter, hands down, we reach our target. Stay tuned because we are gonna dive right in. First of all, if you haven't watched the other videos where I explain what happened in my business, so then I didn't hit my Q Q Q1 quarter one goals, why that happened, what is going on, please make sure you watch that video. I'm sure it's gonna be very helpful because you always learn from other successes, but the main way to learn is from others' mistakes. So I hope that video will help you to achieve clarity and making sure you don't make the same mistakes I've made. I'm gonna link the video here somewhere or in the description box, make sure you check it out next. But let's go. So what are the next five smart moves for my Amazon business to make sure I smash my Q2 target. There are so many, but when we focus on five, our brain immediately switch into something that is achievable. And at the same time, those five things you pick are very, very important and relevant. When you take action, these are all very highly focused things to do in order for you to succeed. It's not like, and I'm going to check my email once a day. No, we're talking about big steps very important and then there are gonna be micro steps within the step itself this will allow you to have clarity don't get overwhelmed with it all the million things as a small business owner you have to do you want to do feel you're not doing and then the sense of guilt and blah blah, blah. so we don't want that for you I want to make sure that you work without overwhelm and this is so important so watch the video until the end it's gonna blow your mind one step that I'm taking right now is that I'm opening a new business bank account because I can have an extra credit card. So I am literally opening an account that is going to be free to hold 12 for 12 months. 12 months. I'm opening a second business account for my first company so then I can get a credit card. Not only I can get immediately a little bit more credit to use, but one of the main challenges I faced with the cash flow management for quarter one that didn't allow me to reach my target was because one of my main supplier, my Barclay cards just failed. I'm never able to make the payments via credit card. So every time I call Barclay card, be at the phone for like two hours, I just ended up paying cash, paying via bucks. Big mistake because we bought a lot of stock between the team growing, the fixed costs and the company growing in Q1 that took a toll in the opportunity to buy more stock and differentiate a little bit more. So instead of me having to call Barclay card, deal with that because of course this is not something I can outsource to my virtual team. I need to be the calling, giving information, security. So these are all sensible data. Barclay card, they miserably failed for over a year now to fix this issue where they just like I go check out and just decline the card every single time for no reason whatsoever. The fraud team every single time put a ban on this supplier's website which I asked to remove several times. I received also some cash as an apology. If you have the same problem make sure you complain has really given a big hit on the cash flow management so it's really affecting the business in reality. I'm going to call Barclay card to have my credit cards limit raised. Oh yes baby face it's time give me more money. <laughs> I deserve it, okay? I need to start building it now to have a big push before Christmas. So I need to start building it right now. All these moves are to make sure that cash flow management will be in a different place for Q2. Another big move I'm gonna do is I'm going to create 15 new listings, 15 new products. Some of these are gonna be multi-packs, some of these bundles up and running. And this is great because it will also allow me to do a little bit more of product research which I have set on the side for the past months because I have product research working for me but now it's time for me it's a great opportunity if there is one thing that product researchers won't do for you is to understand where is your niche what is the new trend what are the new colors what is gonna happen with summer coming what's gonna happen for Christmas so everything happens now number four I don't know why I haven't thought about this earlier I mean, I know why I haven't thought about this earlier. It's because I haven't actually sit down and I have been using this method for the past year or so. 
I built this method of running the Amazon business as much in remote as possible, little effort as possible, with me leveraging my time, travel and enjoy my family and my baby girl. Because we had the closure of the financial year, working on the inventory, I'm gonna create a spreadsheet with my team of all those products that are returns, overstock, items that we can't sell anymore on Amazon for any given reason. There are so many reasons why initially you could sell sell something and then you couldn't we are going to create a spreadsheet very clear with very clear information a series of long videos and we're gonna have her listing on ebay for us boom this is amazing if you're an ebay seller maybe you should consider leverage maybe you want to start from the photograph not with a virtual team or something something else but at the same time i believe that if you train properly the person that is coming in or you check that things are done i wanted them to be done there's a lot of opportunity for you to outsource start leveraging that part also yes so instead of having all these stocks sitting on the floor losing value and not having that cash coming back and having the ebay store slowing down we are going to give it a bit of a nice shock number five i'm so excited about this one as soon as i'm going to say it out loud some of you will be like what why shouldn't you just go on a yacht and show us on instagram whatever amazon passive income oh my god it's laying on the beach or whatever you should show off ferrari i am going to do car boot sailing i have been missing going car boots so much this is how i started my e-commerce i was able to take those 700 pounds and multiplying them so quickly and so much than i was able to create on amazon and off amazon multiple six figures and different streams of income i am so excited why am i doing this we live in london we have a storage unit where we operate our amazon fba business i pay a lot of money for the storage unit and i pay a lot of money to amazon uh, in storage fees a lot of money we are always looking for ways to improve that and reduce the storage fees and balance up the stock but it is not always possible we can only do so much we always gonna end up with stock that was selling 30 times a day then it's gonna slow down and we had restock and then we are 300 items that was previously 10 days worth of stock and now it's 30 days worth of stock and then you pay storage fees there are certain things that you can control and some others that in some extents you can't control and we only focus on what we can control what i'm gonna do is that we're gonna go carpet sailing with the family and we're literally gonna open up the boot and sell all that sticky stock stock that is not working is not selling um the returns anything like that so we can make space yes space in london especially is money i don't want to have a storage unit where we can't move away for a bigger storage unit just because i have stock sitting around we are not in the storage business we are in the selling business so make sure that that stock goes i'm super excited because then of course i'm gonna go around and buy stuff. i miss car we used to go every weekend car boot sailing every weekend where i didn't have match days or events we were at the car boot hunting so this is gonna be the first one for baby girl it's been ages first i was pregnant the car boots were very far we didn't have the car just yet then the pandemic hit and so now i'm super excited i know some of you will be like Phew. but anyways i have a little bit of a bonus for you i will hire and train three new researchers and see where this brings us because i want to make sure the team is in place for a big q4 and that needs to be done now and as always i never hire experienced product researchers because i truly believe my method is the best method to do product research hands down so i want to get people who search my way and bring me their results and get a percentage out of every single lead they found super excited for april i'm going to actually work most of april in remote from italy maybe i will bring you with me because as you know guys we travel quite a lot and this this is why we do what we do flying visiting friends families and creating incredible memories that's what success is for me i hope you found this video helpful i hope you are motivated to sit down and write your big five next smart moves for yourself and your company to achieve massive success and hit that target make sure that you build business you love and a life that is worth 
leaving